hi welcome back to my channel i am so happy that you decided to come back to see me it means so much to me and if this is your first time visiting my channel welcome i am your empath earth angel and i was sent by the lord to deliver the message so today i wanted to talk to you guys really really quick about the chosen ones making friends we cannot make friends like average people of the world on my journey of being a chosen one and on my journey of discovering what it means to be chosen i have prematurely and naively allowed friendships to occur in my life friendships that should have never happened okay i did not have the level of discernment that i have now <laughs> um this was at a point in my life where i really did not know who i was and so i did not have the discernment to be able to distinguish what a real friend <laughs> meant from a friend of me so this is not going to be a long video um, i will make another video about this topic much more longer that goes more into detail but chosen ones i just wanted to deliver a very important message for you guys and this goes for the men too this goes for the chosen women and the chosen men we cannot allow anyone to befriend us and vice versa we cannot befriend just anyone okay um those days have changed you know those days are long those gone. days are long gone the days when you could meet someone and you know you guys have something in common so you feel like you can hit it off and build a relationship you guys those days are gone those days are gone and i honestly believe that most people who are in friendships um it's not authentic i really truly believe that even with regular people of the world i truly believe that most friendships are not authentic i think that there is always a give and take you know someone becomes friends with someone because of something that they have or because of something that they want um, every now and then you know you can run into someone that is sincere and really just wants to be around you but for the most part I do believe that we have now entered into an era where friendship authentic friendship is very rare so if it's already like that for average people how do you think it is for the chosen ones it's even harder for the chosen ones. We cannot just be friends with anyone. Chosen ones, when people attempt to be our friends or want to befriend us, you have to take additional measures to inquire and find out what is it that this person wants from me? What 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 could I have that this person may possibly want from me? Because it could be your status, it could be um, your looks, it could be your money, it could be the fact, it could be as simple as you have a car and they don't. I mean, it goes so deep, Chosen Ones. Like, we have to really be so careful. And additionally, for the Chosen Ones, it goes even deeper than that because it could be our energy. For, for the most part, it's really our energy. They want our energy. They want our inspiration. They know that when they are around us, they are inspired to do more with their lives. They are inspired to dig deep and learn who they are. So it's so much deeper than them just wanting to be our friend or of us having something tangible. It really is. But it's very rare that a chosen one keeps uh, keeps a friend it really is it's very rare 
Um, with the chosen ones, what usually happens is these people will come into our lives. They will befriend us. We will think they're our friends, you know, um, and the friendship falls apart, but it's not by our doing. It's not by our doing. It's always, it's always by their doing. Okay, and if anybody wants to challenge me on that, go right ahead, but I'm going to stand firm in my opinion on that because I know how the chosen ones are in friendships. I know because I'm a chosen one. So I know exactly how the chosen ones are in friendships. And we give our all. <laughs> chosen ones, we literally give our all in a friendship. So that's how I know if a friendship dissolves and it's a friendship between a regular person of the world and another chosen one it's going to be that regular person who messed it up it's never the chosen one but usually what happens is time goes by and it, it could be years you guys you, you could be friends with someone for years I'm talking about 10 20 30 years okay only to find out that this friend has been jealous of you the whole time, the whole friendship. Can you believe that someone can actually fake being your friend that long? Yes. When it comes to the chosen ones, people will actually go the extra distance to fake being our friend for 20, 30, 40 years, you guys. I promise you, it's the truth. So again, as chosen ones, we have to be very careful. We have to dig a little bit deeper into why this person wants to be our friend. It can't just be something as simple as, you know, you guys are in the same career field or, you know, you're your coworkers or, you know, you both you like the same music or you do your hair the same or y'all go to the same hairstylist or you like the same purse. No, it can't be. It can't be that. It has to be deeper. And so a lot of friendships, honestly, they don't they, they, they can't last. <laughs> They can't keep up. That's that's the truth. They cannot keep up with what we require in a friendship because chosen ones, we are so authentic. We require authentic friendships and people can only fake it for so long. You know, yeah, they, they can fake it for a long time, but they can only fake it for so long. So once the mask slips and we find out who they are, then it's over after that. But a lot of the times, the chosen ones get you know we get hurt because we put we put in so much into it and we opened up our hearts so much to these people so chosen ones moving forward just be very very careful be very mindful and just use your discernment when you are befriending someone or when someone's trying to befriend you um but honestly chosen ones we really don't befriend people <laughs> like seriously we really don't i mean if we become friends with someone it happens, you know, but it, it's, it's not nothing that we're really looking for because we are very okay with being alone. We really are. We're okay with being alone. We have learned to embrace being alone because we don't want to go through the heartache of what comes with having a friend. So we're very cautious and we're very careful and we have learned to embrace our solitude. But like I said, it's, you know, it's not it's not like we cannot have friends. It's just we have to be very mindful of people that call us their friend. And honestly, if you think about it, usually it's the other person that actually gives us that title, right? A friend before we even do. Have y'all ever noticed that? It's usually them that begins calling us their friend. It takes the chosen ones quite a while before we actually give you the title of friend. We take that word very, very personal. So that's the message I wanted to give to you guys. I know it's short, but the sun is going down and I just wanted to get a good word in for you guys. So I thank you so much for staying to the end of my video. If my message resonated with you, please subscribe to my channel. Why not? 
y'all know life is too short y'all better stop playing <laughs> well i just wanted to let you guys know that the lord will always love you the holy spirit will always love you jesus will always love you the universe definitely loves you and guess what y'all already know say it with me your empath earth angel you know i love you i really hope to see you guys on my next video